You know, Rajdeep, uh, the Congress uh, has smarted under, uh, you know, of things going wrong in three states, be it Rajasthan, Punjab, Chhattisgarh. Do you reckon this time around, even if they're going to take more time, it is surely where the optics are concerned, have they actually made up their mind? Or are they still confused? Preeti, I'm going to start by quoting a tweet that I've just put out. After a long time, a bit of old-style political drama is unfolding in Delhi over Kaun Banega, Karnataka chief minister. In the 1990s coalition era, it was Kaun Banega Pradhan Mantri and often a dark horse would suddenly emerge. Recall how <laughs> I.K. Gujral was decided upon in 1997 by a united front government. The Modi era of total political dominance has meant less confusion in BJP, but Congress is still an old world party where there are never ever any shortage of power claimants. Expect this drama to unfold for a few more days as TV news channels endlessly speculate. Picture abhi baki hai. The point I'm making is, you see, when you have right. a party like the Congress, which has been out of power for a long time, and suddenly when you get power, you have all these individuals who've been in politics for 30, 40 years. You just mentioned Mr. Parmeshwar. He is, you know, again, an uh, MLA half a dozen times. There's R.V. Deshpande, who I met earlier today. He's a nine-time uh, MLA. So you've got lots of people who, if not chief minister, want to be ministers. Look, the battle at the moment for... Chief Ministers primarily between D.K. Shivkumar and Mr. Sidharamayan both have strong claims. Mr. D.K. Shivkumar can claim that he rebuilt the Congress organization from 2020 and made it battle-hardened. Mr. Sidharamaya can claim that he is a mass leader who has crafted a social coalition which has strongly voted for uh, the, the Congress. So both of them have very strong claims. The problem is the high command is weak. You see, if the high command was stronger, they could perhaps have worked out the power sharing arrangement more effectively earlier. But that cannot happen in today's high command. In fact, there are different claimants to who's the high command. There's, all of them are coming to Malik Arjun Kharge's residence at the moment. Sonia Gandhi is with Priyanka Gandhi, Vadra and Shimla. And Rahul Gandhi is in the, uh, uh, in the fray and out of it. So he is being consulted. Does he have the final word? That's the big question. Who mm -hmm. has the final word? Earlier, it was very clear that Sonia Gandhi in 10 Janpat would have the final word. Now that's also not there. A, uh, someone like an Ahmad Patel who could manage these contradictions is not there. So who is going to ensure that both Mr. Shiv Kumar, uh, is, uh, both Shiv Kumar and Mr. Sidharamaya are placated in an honourable manner? It's not easy given that both of them have very strong claims to the top job this time. And if they don't get it, then you will have to ensure that they get ministries for themselves and their supporters. So, Kaun Banega, uh, Bukhya Mantri right. and Kaun Banega Mantri Priti is a difficult situation to handle when you have a weak high command and strong regional satraps. You know, uh, I'm going to just bring in Moshmi as well because she's been talking to her sources within the Congress as well as Rajdeep. Uh, Moshmi, one thing is very clear, whatever was decided post the CLP, which was that the uh, Karnataka chief minister will be sworn in on the 18th, that's not happening. That day is going to be passed. Uh, but where does the high command or the stakeholders in this stand? Who stands in whose corner? Give us the juice. See, pretty clearly, if, I, if you see what I have uh, just uh, uh, flashed, uh, that Rahul Gandhi, as Rajdeep also righted, uh, rightly pointed out, wants to stay away. He is in it, but he is not in it. And Sonia Gandhi and Priyanka are already in Himachal. So Rahul Gandhi, if you ask me who is the final, who is going to have the final word, it is going to be Malikarjun Kharge. Of course, he would uh, inform Sonia Gandhi or Rahul Gandhi, mm -hmm. but I don't believe in this situation that the high command is weak, because uh, fortunately for the Congress, uh, the uh, President of the Congress is Malika Arjun Karge, who hails uh, from uh, Karnataka, and he has a, a larger-than-life persona in Karnataka, uh, in his in his uh, home turf. So, uh, and he's been like a marathon runner as far as uh, politics is concerned. Even um, uh, even for that matter, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had to acknowledge that many times. So, I, I really think that uh, Karge is the right man uh, who has got the job, and he is the right man to do this job. Right. Uh, because nobody knows better than him the politics of Karnataka. Nobody knows better than him the two leaders who are staking claim, and he knows right. what will be the shortcomings and the weaknesses, what will be the strength. And uh, uh, and and with Mr. Kharge, you know his nature of treading very cautiously, consulting everybody. Uh, the the Congress camp is very confident that he will make the right choice.